Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the most efficient way to put AdSense ads on your WordPress website. And I think the best way to do this is with an example, so let's get right on into it. Um, for my website, serialguru.com, I don't show ads on every single page. As you can see here, the page exclusions, uh, the count for that is three. And specifically, I do not show ads on the homepage, the about page, and the contact page. So let me open up a guest window here and show you what that looks like. So if we go to serial.guru, you'll see that on the home page, there are no ads, okay? On the about page, there are no ads, and on the contact page, there are no ads. That's great, that's exactly what we wanna happen. And then on the individual blog post, you'll see that there are ads being loaded. The problem with this setup though, is that if you look at the page source for the home page, for example, and look for something called ads by Google, you'll see that that code related with ads is still being loaded even though we don't want ads on that specific page. And what that looks like from uh, the res individual resources being loaded on the page is a total of 35 requests and 2.1 megabytes of resources. Some of these which have to do with ads being loaded and yet there is no ads on this page. So that's a problem. The way we can fix this is by uh, taking the code snippet from uh, Google AdSense and having our theme place this only on the pages that we want ads to be shown rather than in this case I'm using Google Site Kit, the plugin, uh, to place ads on my website and that's just not the most efficient way to do it. So let's let's copy this code snippet and let me show you what I mean here. So this is the code snippet that uh, we want to show ads on our website and we're going to minimize this, we're going to minimize this, and we're going to open up our WordPress admin dashboard for Serial Guru. So like I said, I'm using the plugin uh, site kit right now to show ads on my website. Uh, let, me, let me just show you what that looks like, just in case you're not familiar. So SiteKit is the official Google plugin for WordPress, and um, you'll see that I do have AdSense linked to my WordPress website through SiteKit. So you, you can see the right here, AdSense is connected. Um, there's some of my earnings, but this, like I said, this is not efficient. We rather have our theme place the code rather than the plugin, because you don't have a lot of control over that. So first thing I'm gonna do here, go to my plugins and remove the SiteKit plugin, or I'm just gonna deactivate it for now. Okay, now let's take the code that I had copied on the clipboard, the AdSense code, and have our theme specifically generate press insert that into the pages that we wanna see it. So we can do that by going to appearance and elements, and you'll only see this for the generate press theme. We're gonna add a new element of type hook. We'll create that, and this is going to be specifically for AdSense ads. And I'm simply gonna paste that code just like I copied it from my AdSense dashboard. That's gonna load the ads on the specific pages that we're gonna choose uh, in a couple seconds. So the this is by default, the hook that we wanna do is in the header, the WordPress header. That's where we want this code to show up. Um, we're not gonna execute any short code or PHP, so that looks good. And then under the display rules, uh, the location that we want this to show up is only post, right? We don't want it to show up on any other page except for posts. So in here, we'll type in posts, or just post, I guess. And all posts is the only place that this code is gonna show up. So that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and publish this. And that looks good. So we'll go back to our dashboard. <clears throat> and just to be on the safe side, we'll purge the cache. Uh, if, if you don't have the W3 Total Cash plugin, then that's an optional step. Um, and now let's go back to our guest window. So let me see if I can find that down here. Here's our guest window. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just refresh the page, see what happens. So again, before we were looking at 35 requests with 2.1 megabytes of resources, and we still are looking at that. So let me actually get out of there, open up a new guest window just so we're not dealing with any cookies or anything like that. Go to serial.guru and look at the home page here. First thing we'll do is look at the page source, see if there is ads by Google being loaded and it is not, which is a really good sign. Uh, that means that code is not being injected into the page. And then we will look at the individual resources being loaded 
and before I think we were seeing something like 35 requests and a lot more than 1.3 megabytes of resources and now we're only seeing 17 requests none of which are ad related and that's good because we're not seeing ads on this page but we will see ads on our individual blog posts like this one and you can see all of those resources being loaded over here as the ads on the actual page uh, are loaded so the last thing I think we want to do here is to go if you do have a uh, page level exclusions, go back into Google AdSense, your dashboard, and then you can remove them because uh, our theme is now handling these and we don't need to do this at the AdSense level. So that looks good, apply that to our site. I hope this makes sense guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.